So I've been using Video Studio and I put up with it here the secrecies and a few things and it's irregular shutdowns but this I just can't forgive, I've had to move on. Ah! Have a look at this. So here we are at my computer. I started using Corel's Video Studio 2020 which is this and after a few weeks I decided that I would upgrade because when this loads up you'll see it asks you if you want to upgrade here we are and I thought to myself you know what I think I might upgrade because The new one, 2021, is most intuitive, creative and powerful, it says here. <clears throat> Instant project templates, AR stickers, they are absolutely the worst things ever. Video ma Enhanced video masking. Yeah, that's really um, not what I had in mind. It's not that enhanced. And it shows you all the things you've got. I've got an i5 computer. I have got 32 megabyte memory. The only thing I don't have is I have 128 video RAM. But then that's for hardware acceleration. So that's not really a, a, a problem. Everything else is fine. I'm using SSDs. But here's the problem. We're going to load in our file, which is this file, the DGI. Now I've already made a proxy on this so we can just drop it down onto the timeline and what we're going to do is we're going to speed up this using the time remapping so we make sure it's selected click on time remapping and I've already done this I'm going to get rid of that and click OK and little put get rid of that we don't want that thumbnail which is crazy it does it constantly time remapping so we've got no time remapping whatsoever now I'm going to just zoom this a little bit as you can see it's pretty nasty now I'm going to start somewhere there and I'm going to finish it somewhere let's say about here we'll finish it there and we're going to make it go a thousand times whatever speed this is a thousand whatever this is I have no idea it doesn't say anything I'm going to click OK thumbnail project take it back to the beginning click start let's see what happens now the drone takes off it's up in the air I'm actually walking behind it and we're going to make it run and when it gets to here it should go fast and somewhere around here da, 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 and there it is that's pretty basic it's like yeah okay that's fine and then you go you know what I don't like that I'm gonna get rid of that that's not what I actually had in mind get rid of it let's get rid of this thumbnail delete it click yes and there you go now we can go back to do this and, and we can do this we can sorry I need to select that go back to time remapping and we can carry on and it's fine it works it's okay that is pretty good however it's jerky and I didn't quite enjoy using that and I really do need the enhanced masking that it says so here we have now video studio 2021 the upgraded version looks exactly the same right the problem is when I upgrade it if we go here and look here it didn't upgrade video studio 2020 it installed a new version the problem is they use the shared files and here in FX if you go to Boris and we click on Boris
there's a big red X. That doesn't happen in 2020. So upgrading means that I can't use Boris Tattle Studio anymore. Which is a bummer because Boris is pretty neat. But anyway, let's go and we'll show you what's happening with this. So this is the same file. It's got the proxy on it. You can see that little bit there. So we're going to drop this down onto our timeline. We're going to go time remapping. We've already got one. I'm going to click that out and say, no, I'm going to do another one. Click OK. Let's get rid of this thumbnail. Yes, please. OK. So we're going to restart again. Timeline. Let's run it on. As you can see, this is a, um, a lot smoother than the 2020 version. It's a lot faster. It works pretty sweet. So I click it's the exact same place pre pretty much. I'm going to a thousand times. Click OK. Click our project. And just love it. Have a quick run and drone sets off. Gets to the certain point what I've actually wanted to do. Now you can put the ease in ease out. I've never noticed anything different. Um, and there it goes. Speed it speed it up. It's it's pretty sweet. So you're going to come back and say, ah, oh, you know what? Nah. I don't I don't particularly like that I'm gonna go and uh, oh, let's get rid of that cuz I didn't quite like that oh what the fuck that does it every time I've used ultimate 2021 now it flips out for some reason sometimes it asks you if, if you want to uh, use your file again and and, re, and go what you've done now if you've been editing for 10 15 30 minutes and then you do that and then decide it's, that's not what you want whoa you're gonna lose everything if you've not saved it that is an absolute no-no get rid of the thumbnail okay so we're gonna drop this back down onto the timeline we're gonna go to time remapping and the file is still there again which okay and then it again produces another thumbnail for some reason i don't know why i'm gonna delete that and say yeah but now it's got named time remapping 22 for some reason so we're gonna go time remapping we'll try it again try it in a different spot just for the sake of brevity let's say we'll we'll do it from there and uh, we'll start it and uh, we'll end it let's say somewhere here okay just just for that Deedlip, and there it goes there's a thumbnail we don't need to click on project let's just run the, the clip it doesn't really matter to me either way the file runs up this is me uh, i'm actually walking behind my drone uh, my drones at this eye level and um, I'm, I'm trying out the new thumbsticks which I'll put a link into the description below for the new thumbsticks that I've created but anyway here we go goes up to its time mapping getting close here we go and it should go somewhere soon was it here this is it oh well would you look at that nothing why did it do that because we didn't set the time oh well look at that so this is a definite bust um i, I can't i can't work with this so i am um, transferring all my information and all my ideas and I'm going to be going to Cyberlink's power director for the future projects I think because this is now um, unworkable for me I can't do anything with that it's that is crazy 
it didn't ask me to do anything else. You can see everything's gone. All it saved was a thumbnail and nothing. So that is a definite bust. Delete that out. And we're going to shut that down. Nothing. It works in 2022. In 2020, it works fine. There's no problem in this one, but it is juddery. It, it's just they've enhanced it somewhere, but lost some kind of I don't know what. Go to edit. Let's go to FX and I'll show you Boris. Here's Boris. We'll click on Boris. No red X. Boris works fine with 2020. What a bummer. What can I say? Um, yeah, all my videos from now on are going to be done using... Power director. So that's it. I'll give you my thoughts on this. And um, yeah, it's a shame because Video Studio is very intuitive, to be honest. And I, I actually learnt just by playing around, clicking and doing this and doing that. And it's it's really intuitive. I had I've had some great fun on this program, but the constant crashes and the constant fighting and and losing a bit of work here and there um, it's just i can't deal with it i'm done goodbye video studio so as you can see it crashes constantly and that is annoying i was willing to put up with it every now and again it would just shut down for no apparent reason um but this is just unforgivable i was doing some video editing and I'm, I'm trying to increase speed drop the speed and it just kept just shutting down I was ah oh, forget it um, I've moved on now to Cyberlink's power director which is like video studio on steroids it is polished I must admit it is fast um, it's just not as intuitive as video studio but um, we're getting there and um, we're doing some better things with it so um, video studio gone um, deleted it off my computer and uh, it's just gone together now if you're a beginner and you're moving up from movie maker video studio is really intuitive and it's easy to get into but the, the shutdowns are just they just kill it and it is slow I gotta tell you, once you start putting LUTs in there, it really goes and grinds to a slow speed. Look elsewhere. Um, guys, if you're Corel's video studio, you're looking at this. This is a memory problem. I remember this from a long time ago. The program is trying to write to memory that is reserved for Windows, and Windows will boot it out with no uncertain terms and it won't write to the logs video studio is really good to get into but uh, give it a miss it looks to me like power Stu power director sorry power director from cyberlink is my next stop as i progress my videos are getting better my video and my ideas are getting better and video studio is not getting me there i hope power director will Anyway, that's my rant. Um, Video Studio is gone. Power Director, it looks like being in. If you like the video, click subscribe. Leave some comments, guys. Have a great day, and we'll catch you again.